Okay, getting ready for the star test. Here we have TK.5A, which is solving linear equations. Uh, in this first problem, we have parentheses and a number in front of it, which means we're going to have to distribute 4 times 0.5n. Uh, if you're good with decimals, you know that that's half. 0 0.5 is half, so it's half of 4, which is 2, 2n. Uh, of course, you'll have your calculators, so you could type that into your calculator and get an answer. Uh, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 equals n. Now we have another parentheses, and we're distributing, and we're very careful that that is a negative 0.25. Once again, if you're good with decimals, you know that that's 1 fourth, so it's going to be 1 fourth of 12 which is 3, and since it's negative 0.25 times 12, it's a negative 3. Negative 0.25 times a negative 8n. It's a negative 8n. That negative is part of it. And so we ask 1 fourth of 8 is going to give us 2, so that's plus 2n. Uh, we have n's. Throughout this problem, we need to combine like terms first. These two n's are on the same side. It's a positive n plus 2n, so that would give us a 3n. There's an invisible 1 in front of that. There's only one of those n's. Uh, and the minus 3 is still there, and we bring everything else down to n minus 12. <coughs> we need to combine the n's, get the n's on the same side and the regular numbers on the other side. We could bring this 3 in over here, but then that would leave us with negative. So I'm going to bring this 2 in over. Minus 2 in, minus 2 in. Negative 12 is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1 in, or just in, minus 3. The last thing we need to do to get the n on its own is get rid of this 3. Currently, that 3 is subtracting from the n. So to do the opposite, we add plus 3, plus 3. n is equal to negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. The answer is G. Now, as a reminder, on the test you have your TI Inspire. This equation, this solving equations, when it's one long equation with an equal sign and all the same variable, n, 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 or x, 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 all the same variable, uh, we can solve in the calculator. So you can get your TI Inspire. The magic button is Menu. So we know what our options are. We go down to Algebra. And we are trying to solve, numerical solve, 1. And it gives us the in solve function. And we're going to type in the equation. So we've got 4 parentheses, 0.5. Uh, and you can use n if you want to use n, or you can use x if you want to use x. Uh, since it's n in the problem, let's use n. We could use x. It wouldn't matter. Minus 3, close parentheses, equals n minus 0.25, open parentheses, 12 minus 8 n and then the key that many students forget once you type the whole equation in you're not done you have to tell the calculator what to solve for, for by hitting comma variable n so here's the equation calculator you want to numerical solve it for the variable n then hit when we hit enter we see there's a an error and in order to figure out what that error is we look back through and compare. The reason I'm wanting to do this is this is an error that students get frequently. We look through the four matches, the 0.5, all this is matching. And right here, this is the part where a lot of students get messed up. This first parentheses next to the end solve, we ignore, and it needs a partner at the very end. Don't delete those parentheses. Those are supposed to be there. But in this one, if we look at the original one, it's 12 minus 8 in parentheses. 12 minus 8 in, we don't have that parentheses. That parentheses is over here, so we put the comma in inside the parentheses. So we need to go back in. I'm going to delete the comma in. The 
the comma in is gone. Now we hit close parentheses. Now we hit comma in. And so we look at the problem. We've got the in solve. This is the opening parentheses for the in solve. There's the closing parentheses for that. And everything else is the same. And then we put comma in. Let's try it again. And of course, we get the right answer. So point there being, if you get an error syntax issue, don't just get frustrated. Look back through and pay attention to that ending part. Uh, but of course, you could have might have put a minus where you should have a negative or vice versa. Uh, but typically, that'll give you just the wrong answer. All right, uh, let's go ahead and write down what those steps were again. That was menu, three for algebra, one for insolve, and then you write it out and you have to put comma, whatever the letter is. Many times it's X. All right, let's move on to the next question. Here we have same sort of issue, 34x plus 95 equals, we've got parentheses, a number in front, we have to distribute, distribute, 3 times 14 is going to give us 42x, 3 times 9 is going to give us 27, bring this other side down, 34x plus 95, we have variables on both sides, we need to get them on the same side, I'm going to bring this 34 to this side, minus 34x, minus 34, and there we've got a little mess up, minus 34x, those are gone, 95 is equal to 42 minus 34 is 8x plus 27, We've got the variable, we need to get this number to the other side, whatever's being added or subtracted first before we get rid of whatever's being multiplied or divided. To do that, we get rid of the 27 by going minus 27, minus 27, 95 minus 27, 68. The only thing left on this side is 8x. Last step, get rid of the coefficient. Right now it's multiplying times the x, so to get rid of it, we're going to divide, divide by 8, divide by 8. x is equal to 68 divided by 8. It gives you a fraction in your calculator. You remember you hit Control Enter, that converts it into a decimal. 8.5. That's the answer. Now, once again, you remember you can, since there's an equal sign and a one variable all the way through, you can use menu, three, one, and type the equation in. Let's go ahead and try that. Menu, three, one, type in the equation, 34x plus 95 equals 3 parentheses 14x plus 9 close parentheses what do we have to put at the end comma x then hit, when we hit enter it gives us the answer 8.5 as you can tell, because of that uh, tool on your calculator, you are able to do these problems with ease. We will continue to practice solving them by hand so that you get the practice of it, because that's an important skill, uh, algebra, uh, that you will use in all the rest of your classes. Negative 3, distribute, distribute, positive 3, distribute, distribute, so we have the 8x. Negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 4 would give us positive 12. Negative 3 times x, or positive 3 times x is 3x. Positive 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. We have two variables over here. A mistake that students commonly make is they try and do plus 6x plus 6x because they're used to moving things. These two variables are on the same side of the equal sign. So we're not going to have to do this plus 6x plus 6x. We just combine like terms. 8 minus 6x is 2x plus 12 equals 3x minus 18. 
We have variables on both sides. We need to get all the variables on the same side. Minus 2x, minus 2x. It wouldn't matter if you brought the 3x to this side, but if I'd done that, it would be minus 3x, minus 3x, and that would leave me with a negative x. So I just like to move it to where I'm not going to have a negative variable. The only thing left on this side is 12 equals 3 minus 2 is 1x, or just x, minus 18. We need to get the x on its own, get rid of this 18, which is currently subtracting. So we get rid of it by adding 18 on both sides. 12 plus 18 is 30 is equal to 1x or just x. So the answer is C. Once again, you can use menu 3, 1 and type in the answer on the calculator to get your answer there as well. All right, for this question, 0.75 times x, 0.75 times 20. 0.75 times x is just 0.75x. For 0.75 times 20, those of you who are bad at uh, decimals, you can type this into your calculator. 0 0.75, 0 0.75 times 20. 0.75 times 20, we get 15. That makes sense because those of you who are good at fractions know that 0.75 is asking for 3 fourths. So you wanted of the 20, 3 fourths of that, which is 15. That's one of the many ways in which knowing your fractions helps you. Plus 15 is equal to 2. 0.5 times x is 0.5x. And 0.5 times negative 2 is half of negative 2, which is going to give us negative 1. We have variables on both sides, so we want to combine them. Minus 0.5x, minus 0.5x. We have 0.75 minus 0.5 is 0.25x. You can think of quarters. Plus 15 equals... And we had two regular numbers, which we could have combined like terms before, probably should have, combined like terms at every step that we can. Two minus one is one. We want to get the variable on its own, so we do the opposite, minus 15, minus 15, 0.25x is equal to negative 14, divide by 0.25, divide by 0.25, those are gone. X is equal to negative 14 divided by 0.25. Negative 14 divided by 0.25. We get 56. Negative 56. The answer is J. All right, we're down to our last two. We have a negative here. This confuses some students on what we're supposed to be distributing. It's an imaginary 1 there that we just don't write. So we have the negative 5x. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Negative 1 times negative 4 gives us a positive 4x equals negative 6x, that's negative 2 times 3x, and then negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. We have com like terms that we can combine, negative 5 and negative 4 gives us negative 1x, or just negative x, plus 7 equals negative 6x plus 8. We want to get rid of this, negative 6, plus 6x, plus 6x. We have negative 1 x plus 6x, which gives us 5x. Bring down the 7. The 6x's are gone. Equals plus 8. We want the x on its own. We get rid of the 7 by going minus 7, minus 7. 5x is equal to 1. Divide by the coefficient x is equal to one-fifth. The answer is j. Alright, last question. We have more distribution. 0.3 times 12. 
is 3.6x. 0.3 times 16, or negative 16, is negative 4.8 equals 0.4 times 12 is 4.8, and 0.4 times 3 is negative 1.2x. We want the x's on the same side. We're going to bring this negative 1.2x to the other side by adding 1.2x. 1.2x. We have 4.8x minus 4.8 equals 4.8. Need to get rid of whatever's being added or subtracted first. In this case, it would be plus 4.8 to get rid of that negative 4.8. 4.8x is equal to 9.6 divide by 4.8 divide by 4.8 x is equal to and we know since we just added two 4.8s when you divide by 4.8 you get 2 so the answer is H and remember for all of these uh, problems that we've just solved by hand in your calculator you can use menu 3 for algebra 1 for in solve then you type in the problem and don't forget to put comma x or whatever the variable is you're solving for. Alright, that's TK.5A, solving linear equations.